So yeah, I told you fucking Bleach Japan's gonna be some mastermind and shit. I called it. <laughs> I had like no idea. I just thought they were like I don't know, I just thought they were some punk ass group. I mean until I saw it bleached black and they mentioned Bleach Japan. I'm just like wait a minute. Let me fucking put some let me put two and two together. It's four. <laughs> Let's see. This probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same nails. age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. She has very pretty nails. Hmm. It says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. Like she has actually he gorgeous took nails. political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then, he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. That's pretty high. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. No, Kasuga, that's not how this works. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga is saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. Majima and Saijima and Daigo. No! The, the gang panic. squad! They knew the old the gang squad. The OG no. gang squad. Come back! No! no. The squad! The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So, yeah. I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was the loss of Kiryu. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. Hmm. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Dude, we should send <gasps> Kiryu to Arakawa. Have him handle it. You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Well, he was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. It adds Arakawa up, yes. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? I don't know, eating parents, meat? <laughs> even Yakuza parents will do anything for their kids. <sighs> Even their Yakuza kids. Is the governor really the young master? If so, how did he do it? One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? All of the money. A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah, doctor up a photo, slap on a false name. And file a fake official register. You can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm mm. thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register, and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I, I never said it was. it was simple. 
But it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. There's no death. So I figure with Arakawa's name on it. Hold on! Hold the hell on! How is Ryo Aoki walking? Does he not need a wheelchair anymore? What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't. Be Maybe the same he mass produced the drug? How yeah. could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No. The doctor said he was wheelchair bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Mm. Hey, who's the guy who looks that's like that's Horino Uchi? Ass? That's the police commissioner, Horino Uchi. That's the guy who stole his girl. Your eternal rival. <laughs> is that the guy who stole my girl? I think I've seen it. It is the guy who stole his girl. What? I was about to say, yeah, I think it is a dude. Time before I went to prison, uh, but when was it? Yumi's birthday. Yeah, young bitch. He looks young and ugly there. Oh, right. I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a uh, awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. Hey, what do you mean I especially if Ichiban down. does? The especially was unnecessary. Kamrocha's looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. She did not need to especially guys, Ichiban. Remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? She might have. Hell yeah. It's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. True that, I doubt you. True that. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. You don't even need to head back. I'm sleeping here, huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice. Thanks. But my whorehouse room. There's some vacant space on the second floor. How are we gonna protect her whorehouse? I if we stay here. storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. Oh, that's How's your that excuse. For that's your reason. Uh, yeah, it is great, but you sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah, whatever. The room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Yeah, Dragon Quest. Wow, dude. You play Dragon Quest too? Thanks. We'll keep yeah. room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink. <laughs> oh, you'll drive yourself to drink, you moron. Hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. Oh, I love your jokes. <laughs> Damn. I love your jokes. Your jokes are the best. <laughs> this is getting crazy. I should go see how the town. I'm here for the drama. Yeah, I'm. I should go see how the whole town's dealing with the threat of an Omi Alliance in bed. Oh no! Oh my God! No! 
What? We're gonna have to put the drama on hold for probably two days. Oh no, two days, like, two days and in... there's like fucking eight sub stories that just popped up. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna be busy. Jesus. Did I actually plant any of my damn roses? Probably not. Well, oh, you found you? Did you actually have to plant? Oh yeah, I have to plant them. Yes. Okay then. Didn't think you'd be a green thumb. Call play without giving me dreams. Jesus Christ, 20 real life minutes? Better get to them uh, sub stories. <laughs> Hey, good year, Roha. How, how's it going, girl? Asagazan. Guess what? I finally got more details on that rumor. What rumor? What rumor? You know, the one I mentioned earlier? Trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. Oh, this has got to be some story 39. <laughs> it's juicy. Let's hear it. So, I heard this from a customer, but apparently there's a small shipping company called Zhou Long Trading this over on Eugene Street. And if you tell the guy working there a certain password... He'll let you into a top secret weapon shop. This shop's not legal, is it? There it is, up story 36. Doubt it. According to the rumors, he's pretty much cornered the black market. So, if you need anything dangerous and illegal, he's your go to guy. Whoa, sounds intense. I know, right? I bet he's got the coolest stuff. Hey, what do you think this guy looks like? You think he's one of those sexy anti-hero types? What about me? I'm a sexy hero type. If only I could meet a guy like that. You think you'd want to say hi to me? I want to say hi to you. No, hi. No, that's probably not a good idea. Something tells me he's more villain than anti-hero. Nah, if you say so. Anyway, you have any idea what his password might be? Oh, let me think. It was... Lao Chow Chow Ya. There we Lao go. Chow Chow Ya. Love Choo Choo Ya? Oh my god, Captain. Wrong. Lao Chow Chow Ya. I'm clueless as to what it means, if anything at all. Lao Chow Chow Ya. Can I just say it to the dude who works there? Well, do keep in mind, this is all hearsay. But where there's smoke, there's fire. So, some of it might be true. And besides, even if he does turn out to be a villain, you're strong enough to make it out alive. But I'm not strong enough to get your dumb. number. Got it. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Now, if he really is my type, Nice body, a little on the wild side. Hook me up with a date. Dude, I got a nice body. I'm wild. So I need to go to EG Street and give the guy a Zhou Long distribution password. Loud chow chow yeah. Who comes up with this shit? How's he Roha gonna fucking talk about flirting with some other fucker right in front of me? I'm literally everything she wants. Look at my hair. Look at my body. I am sexy. I am crazy. I am him. You know? No. Get out of here, you fucking yes you do. <laughs> You've been staring at each man's ass the whole game. I mean, it's not like there's first person oh. that you've been going into. Yeah. Hey, uh, Hamako-san, what's wrong? <clears throat> Some Yakuza came by looking for you. What? A guy named Totsuka from the Seiryu clan. Totsuka, huh? How did he look? He had a whole bunch of his boys with him. I think they're going bar to bar asking about you. I'd steer clear of my place for a bit. Gotta go. Wait, Hamako-san! Hey. What did she say? Totsuka's apparently out searching for us, so she says we should stay away from her shop. Hmm, but I thought Totsuka was... Okay. Yeah, I thought the Serial Clan came down hard on him for the whole retirement home scam. Which means we should probably go see for ourselves. Even though she literally told us to stay away... <laughs> You're welcome to stay behind hey. if you want. You ass. I'm going to. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Don't get into the cab. Lao chow chow ya. There. Let's go. I now know the secret words. Lao chow 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 chow. You know nothing. 
Welcome. I'm supposed to give this guy a password for access to a weapon shop, but it could be risky. Say the password. Mm. Hey, um, yes? What is it you want? Mm. What was that password again? Lao chow 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 yeah. Love you, love you, booyah. Choo choo yowza. Lao lao chow yeah. Lao chow chow ya. Lao chow chow ya. Where did you hear that from? Uh, I was referred here? Kinda? Very well. Then wait right here. Alright. Give me the good stuff. The goodest stuff. Yeah, uh, can I help you guys? You can help us prove your worth to Chow San by facing us in combat. No offense, but protocols. <sighs> I knew this shit would happen. Now, let's see what you're made of. Right, that's a strike. Give me a bullseye. You're gonna be You sure you want to get hurt? Lasers and they're dead. La cha cha ya! Jump! Soul shield bracelet. Cool, give me access to the good stuff. <sighs> You're quite skilled. Exceptional. You... you the one who runs this secret weapon shop? Meet me near Kinka Bridge. Jesus Christ, why did they have to bring in the whole Keanu Reeves here? River's edge, and I will give you your answer. Look at this fucker. That's fucking Keanu Reeves. He runs the ancient Chinese screen Sorry weapon we shop. Do that, sir. But we do have to screen our clients somehow. Yeah, I get it. I mean, this is the black market I'm dealing with, so I figured I might get the runaround. <laughs> I assure you, it's worth the effort. Guess I gotta head along the river toward Kinka Bridge if I want to meet this arms dealer. So what do you think about Chao San and his fucking merry band of Keanu Reeves? Sure. Now you're gonna try and deny it? <laughs> Am I supposed to? No, because it's, it's Keanu Reeves. Even try to make him sound like it. Impressive. I love you. Yeah. My name's Keanu Reeves, but you can call me tomorrow. Uh, senile old bitch. Do you want your bar destroyed? Huh? You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. Then don't do anything. So why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Where's Kasuga? Folks said you would know. Well, I know. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> you should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. <laughs> oh, shit. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I punched a woman. <sighs> so, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? <clears throat> Give it another swing. And this time... Try to have better aim. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. <sighs> Kasuga, you decided to show up. You're messing with my broad. Why are you here? I'm the hero. I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. Yeah, Kasuga. You okay, Hamako-san? <laughs> Don't think that I was trying to protect you guys or anything. It wasn't like that. Oh, sure. You just didn't approve of these guys' bad manners, right? <laughs> You're too classy a lady. <laughs> yep. They just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? <laughs> yeah. 
I think you've got it. Yeah. Stop right there! Out of the way, you shit. Wow, big man. Old woman just tells you to get out of the way and you just Are fucking you move. Back in the chairman's good graces, <laughs> what a bitch. I don't care what he thinks of me anymore. I'm done with the old man. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Eugene Show standoff was a fucking scam. Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. Oh, that is not good. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell. The chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. Huh. Our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not taking it anymore. My boys here agree with me. We're all together on this. Cool, and you can all die together on this. Stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino. Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Sure. Come after you, tear you limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Well, let's say you actually manage to pull that off. Then what? Then I'd take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town! <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna do that when you have, like, dumb in your brain? Yamato Totsuka is gonna die again. Yeah. He's not his. Uh, he, they're, no, they're fucking. They're like ten levels lower than me. They're fucking bitches. Cool. Uh, Illusion. Show them how we do it in West Side. Kill him with kindness. Show him the power of love. Totsuko didn't care about that. Maybe he likes it a little on the rough side. Oh yeah, he he like he, he likes the candle, the candle mandle. Pepper mill blow. That actually, oh that actually did a lot of damage. So much pepper. So much blowing. No Yakuza leader. Go play king of the playground at some park. God damn you. Tamako san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here. I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in the river. That's a promise. Damn, I thought you were supposed to be a hero. We clear? Nah. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're not even the hero class we're right clear. now. You know what? I don't need your fucking nonsense right now. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm fine. <laughs> My phone's going off because I'm a hero. Do, 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 See? We beat the enemy and we got the experience. This is our battle, dude. This is our end of battle theme. Hello? It's Xiao. I'm really busy, so I'll make this quick. Okay. We underestimated Bleach Japan big time. Turns out the Omi Alliance is behind them. From the start, their plan was to take out the... Yeah, I already knew this. Lauma was just using you to get that done. I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you already knew? <laughs> and here I thought I was finally gonna get Oh, this is main out. story stuff. <laughs> so, I thought this was a sub story. Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to Komijou. About a thousand of them. What? Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only 
soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking cowards. Fucking cowards. Seriously. The only alliance They're is just a bunch of fucking bitches. Get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Ejin 3's whole operation? Yes. They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about the counterfeiting. Thanks to Nanba. If destroy that, he'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. Assuming you still want to lend the Komi Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. What? Mabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. Oh, that's and not great. What? Now it's full on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshinoda. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. That's fair. I get it. So could you help? Don't make me beg. You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the EG3 will forget all about the numbers. You got it. Really? Do I have your word on that? Yeah. I'll talk to him myself. I'll come around. We got a deal? Now that's a deal I'll accept. Do, but I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit. I'm out of time for chit chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan. It's the director. Ogatawara. Do that too. He hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Right. Yeah, your hearing's good, Adachi. Did you also hear that Ogasawara's behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Maybe in the future. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal Kume. Like... You... And are and a jerk. Wait. Yeah. Where's my fucking? I will be right back. Where's my fucking? Where's my fucking? Son of a bitch! What? All the sub story icons are gone. Oh. Goodbye. Son of a bitch! We only had like a minute, I guess. I had to go to that location because that's where the fucking sub story to unlock the matriarch weapons are. Yeah. Now I fucking. Uh, yeah, you It'll fucking, be a... No, it won't. Go BRB. Go bring me some food. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't bring you food, but. Uh. Uh, you hate to see it, folks. Yeah. Hate, hate to see it. We gotta go help the Kumichu. Get out of town, illegals! And let us in! It's our city! Damn electricity thieves! Who are you? Where'd you come from? We know you're a bunch of criminals! Get the fucking only asses out of here. You're the illegals here. You're the invaders. There they are. The Bleach Japan protesters. Mm -hmm. Is this for real? There's an army of them. Well, if you want to get technical, it's an Omi army. Okay. Yeah, no way Bleach Japan can mobilize this many people with their usual tactics. Crazy to see this many Yakuza in one place, though. And they're all heading for the Gomi Tool? Hmm. 
I don't think we can stop this if we That's try. Right. Exactly. When we're done here, the gray zones will be a barren wasteland. Kume, what were you hoping to accomplish by coming here? Eh, not much. Shouldn't Ogasawara be here to see this? Yeah. He's our director, so he's leading the march. And pretty soon he's gonna be the sh he's gonna shine the spotlight on this city's little counterfeiting problem. <laughs> ah, thanks to us, the day the Great Wall of Muscle finally collapses is here. Dudes, you can't stop me. I'm I'm him. I'm, I'm too strong. Sorry. Oh, us? Huh? I take you mean all these gray dudes you brought in to clean up the gray zones? You know they're all Omi Yakuza, right? Uh huh? huh? The hell is that? An upstanding citizen like myself ain't gonna take that lying down. Then maybe I ought to drop the thick-ass Kansai dialect, friend. Huh? <laughs> you telling me you ain't Omi? Heh, <laughs> how's my Kansai? Or, you telling me you ain't Omi? Heh, <laughs> how's my Kansai impression? Pretty good, right? You think it's wise or maybe make a fools out of us? Listen. Sounds like you owe them an apology. If you do, I can make them stand down. Oh, you want me to grovel? Naturally, you can start by getting down on your hands and knees. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> The whole nine yards, huh? Yep, otherwise you might not like the consequences. I'm the only one who can save you now. <laughs> Pretty lame threats for someone who thinks he's cleaning the world up. Your heart's as black as they come. Shut up, you you hussy. Wow, the real you is coming out now, but if I'm a hussy, you're just the garbage under my heels. Oh, damn. Come on! <laughs> Bitch! Are we not getting our point across? We'll never bow down to you, chief. <clears throat> you're nothing but damn thugs. Ah, what a ballsy bunch of jokesters. It won't be very funny, though, when I'm through with ya. Consider it my greeting for the EG3. Oh, you guys can't stop. Your society is garbage. Your society is garbage. Fuck you. Asshole. Ridiculous. You think you can get away with this? This is assault. We assaulted you? You couldn't sink any lower if you tried, man. Hey. I mean, at this point, I've got to give you props. It was how many of you against just us three? Huh. <clears throat> uh, listen, did you even know these guys were Omiyakuza? No, the director said they came to support us from the offices Police Japan has across the nation. No. You really didn't know. Be honest. Well, I did think they were a rough-looking crowd, so you did have an idea something was off. But ignoring it is awfully convenient, huh? <sighs> Up Yo. yours. I mean, I'm no expert, but wouldn't you call that a gray zone? Sup? What's going on at Gomi Jewel? The protest is probably busting in by now. If not, it's only a matter of time. If this many guys raid them, not even Song Kui can scare them off. Hey, yeah. Either way, we better get moving. Maybe we should try blending in as protesters. Wow. Good idea. That could work. Ball. Oh yeah. Here we fucking go. They got a wrecking ball? Yeah, we beat their ass. The asshole of Bleach Japan didn't know that most of these guys are only alliance. So now we're gonna try and blend in as protesters, but they're bringing in the wrecking ball. So this ain't good. Story's back? No, of course not. Why the fuck would they be? Son of a bitch.